Hi everyone, I'm Jackie, and today in this video, I will be covering the SAT Must Know Math Concepts Advanced Factoring. These questions in particular are a little bit tricky and challenging. They appear on multiple SAT exams, so make sure you know the concepts behind them and enjoy. So per usual, let's just jump in. Oh my goodness, look at this problem. I heard that a very similar problem was on May 2024 SAT. Um, I think it was most missed question, so definitely a good question to know. So let's take a look. This one, 34z to the 14 plus bc to the 7 plus 70. And again, an expression, b is a positive integer, the qz to the 7 plus r is a factor of the expression, where q and r are positive integers. What is the greatest possible value of z? So here I can no longer plug this into Desmos because I have two variables. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is factor. Okay, but so just to be methodological with this problem. So first, like, let's look at what's given. So given, I know B is a positive integer. So B is a positive integer. These are facts that will help me. QZ plus R, so QZ to the seventh plus R is a factor. Okay, and also Q and R are positive integers. Okay. So B is positive integers and Q and R are also positive integers. So then from there, let's just try to see. So um, I know that one of the factors is QZ to the seventh plus R. And I know I want to get this to Z to the 14, right? So I can say that um, Z to the seventh. And then multiplied, I'm going to put C. So C is just some constant that I need to solve to get, um, well, to solve this expression. It's just an unknown constant right now. And you can see if this would all be equal to 34z to the 14 plus bz to the 7 plus 70. So let's go ahead and expand here. So this will become qz to the 14. Oh, looks close to what I want. Then here um, I would have like q c z to the seventh plus r z to the seventh plus r c is equal to 34 z to the 14 plus b to the z to the seventh plus 70. Okay, so now look at the coefficient. So here I have z to the 14, z to the 14. So therefore I can see that q is equal to 34. Okay, next. Also, I'm going to need to factor a little bit here. So have a common term. Each of these have z to the seventh in them. So that would be z to the seventh and qc plus r. And then I can see that that's what b is equal to. So b would be equal to um, qc plus r. So b is equal to qc plus r. Okay, and then my final part of the expression, rc, must be equal to 70. Okay, so now I have all my equivalences. So knowing that, let's continue the journey. Um, okay, so, so remember, I'm asked for the um, greatest possible value of b. And I know that b is equal to qc plus r. Okay, so I could rearrange this a little bit, like r is equal to 70 over our c value. And um, I know that b is equal to qc plus r. I know q, it's 34, so I can plug into 34. C, I don't know, and I know that R would be 70 over C. Okay, so then going back to our known facts, our given facts, 
Remember it says that B is a positive integer. So the only way in which B is going to result in a positive integer is if I make C, it must be 70. Why? Because it's the only number, the greatest number that could be C. Like, yes, C could be one, two, um, any other even number, etc. However, the largest it can be is 70 and still be the largest integer. So I can make C 70. And then I can just do B is 34 times 70 plus 70 over 70, aka 1, which 34 times 70, it's 2,380 um, plus 1. And therefore, the largest possible value that B could be is 2,381. And that would be the correct answer for this one. So which of the following expressions has a factor of x plus 2b, where b is a positive integer constant? OK, so this one's a little bit um, more complex, because now we have x and another variable, b. E. OK, so first, let's see. I know that one of them is going to be x plus 2b. OK, so for example, let's just check a x is 2b. And then um, here, this must be 3x, because I want this when I multiply to become 3x squared. And then it's going to be like plus some constant, um, some constant k. And then it's going to give a positive integer constant. OK, so first, let's expand this. Um, when I expand, I would get 3x squared. Um, plus kx plus um, 6bx, and then plus 2bk. Okay, I remember this would all be equal to my expression in answer choice A. So we can see 3x squared is equal to 3x squared. Here, I'm going to have to factor out the x. This would be k plus 6b. Um, and then I can also see that 2bk is going to be equal to 18b. So 2bk is equal to 18b. I can divide each side by 2b, and I get that k is equal to 9. Um, so I know k is equal to 9. And then I also know here that my um, k value, so my k value, or like the k plus 6b over here, this is going to be equal to 9. How do I know that? They each have x in front of them. OK, so then it's like, all right, so k plus 6b is equal to 9. I now have solved for what k is, so I can now substitute that in here. So that would be 9 plus 6b is equal to 9. I get 6b is equal to 0. Um, so this will give me that b equals 0. However, I want b is to be a positive integer constant. OK, so I should go through and check out all the answer choices. However, there's kind of like a, well, there is a shortcut because I can see each of them is going to be x to b plus 3x plus k. And then I just set them equal to the expression here in b. So like I know that. Just to show, this expands to the same exact expression above, right? So x k plus 6b, um, and then plus 2bk. And this is going to be equal it, to answer choice b, 3x squared plus 24x plus 18b. Oops, 18b. So again, like I know cbk, it's 18b. This is going to be true in all the answer choices that I'm testing. So 2bk equals 18b. Again, k will be equal to 9. And then here, I have my k plus 6b will be equal to, um, in this one, it's equal to 24. 24. And then I just need to solve again. So I do 9 plus 6b equals 24. 
Um, so 6b is equal to 13, 15, sorry, 15. Um, but then b 15 over 6, that's a fraction. So it's not an integer. But you can see, so like for c, I can say, like basically all I have to do is take k plus 6b and put that equal to um, 30. And then k is always 9. And then this one would be 6b is equal to 21. This will also give me a fraction. So therefore it must be D. And then for D it would be K plus 6B is equal to 39. So again, like nine plus 6B equals 39. 6B is equal to 30, B equals five. It gives me a positive integer constant for B. So therefore it answers D. But you see like, I didn't have to go, like once I recognized the equivalences in answer choice A, I can just take the expression and set them equal to the B value in each of the answer choices to solve and see which one gives me a positive integer constant and then they have the answer. Amazing. Alrighty, now let's look at this one. Okay, so this says, which of the following expressions has a factor of X plus two B where B is a positive integer constant? Um, if you've been following my videos, I put this in my June predictions video, not this exact problem because there was a similar one that appeared in October. There's ones that appeared in May. It could be possible that they bring this up again on the December exam. It won't be probably the same problem. Numbers may be changed, but same concept. So make sure you know this. Okay, so it says one of the, it has a factor of X plus 2B. And just to see, like, I'm scanning the answer choices. I see all of these values are the same. And the C values are also the same, 14B. So that's going to make my life a lot simpler, I think. So for example, if I have x plus 2b, then I can create, um, this must be 3x. Why? Because x times 3x will give me the 3x squared. And then for some constant k that I don't know. And that's going to be equal to, let's just do this for option A for now. And um, see what happens. So this would be 3x squared plus um, kx plus 6bx um, plus 2bk. And this is equal to, answer choice A, 3x squared plus 7x plus 14b. So we can see 3x squared correlates to 3x squared. Also here, I can factor out the x here. So x, k plus 6b. In this case, this would be equal to 7. And I'm using, again, the coefficients in front. And then I would have 2bk is equal to 4, 14b. Now we can, I can easily solve for what k is, right? Because divide each side by 2b, k equals 7. And then here I have k plus 6b is equal to 7. I know what k is now. It's 7 plus 6b equals 7. 6b equals 0. b equals um, 0. That doesn't work because it's not giving me b as a positive integer constant. So I must continue the journey. However, my expression, it's going to be the same in each of them. Um, I'll write out one more for B, but it would be the same that it becomes, I would expand X plus 2B is equal to 3X plus K. It expands to this, and then I could see um, that basically, okay, one more written out, plus KX, oh no, wait, okay, so 3X squared plus plus kx plus 6bx, so exactly the same as above. And this will be equal to, now I'm doing b, 3x squared plus 16x plus 14b. And then again, I can see right that the 2bk equals to 14b, that's gonna be true in every case. So again, I get that k is equal to seven. 
And then here it would be that k plus 6b is now equal to 16. And then I would do 7 plus 6b is equal to 16. 6b equals 16 minus 7. Um, which is 9. And then I have that it's 9 divided by 6. So that would be another fraction, 3 halves. So it doesn't work. But anyways, like I'm writing it out here for you guys to see the whole process, but I wouldn't keep expanding here. Like I see that it's always going to be that k is equal to 7 and that I'm just expanding setting this expression equal to my b value. So now in c, I would just do that. I'd be like, OK, so k plus 6b. Well, and just to even put it simpler, it'd be, OK, let me just write it. <laughs> k plus 2b is equal to 18. And again, I know my 7 plus 2b is equal to 18. So 2b equals 11. b is equal to 11 divided by 2 does not give me a positive integer constant. OK, and I'm so sorry. I wrote that incorrectly. I thought something seemed off, but it, it still won't work. But it was k plus 6b. I put 2b. Very sorry. Um, good thing I caught it now. OK, so k plus 6b, it's equal to 18. So and then we do 7 plus 6b is equal to 18, 6b equals 11, and b 11 over 6, again, does not go in. So it's got to be d, but just to show why d will be our answer, so again, 6 plus 6b is equal to 25, 7 plus 6b is equal to 25, um, seven, 25 minus 7, that is, oh my goodness, 18, and b is equal to 3. This is the only answer choice that gave me a positive integer constant. The rest gave me either zero or fractions or aka non-integers. So that's why it's D. I would know this problem. It's already come up on multiple SAT exams. Okay, I hope you found all of those problems super helpful and that you're now able to solve them if you weren't able to. And please like, rate, and subscribe if you like the channel and you want me to keep making more of these videos. Leave any comments, leave any videos that you want me to or leave a comment of the videos you want me to make. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.